Today, I wanted to share a quick tip for utilizing follow-up boss in a creative way. If you have buyer leads in your follow-up boss account, which hopefully you do, as well as seller leads, whenever you either take a new listing, you have a listing appointment, or you want to win a listing, this is a cool tip you can use. For buyers that you talk to that have either said they're only just looking, they'll buy the right house when they find it, or their current client and they are serious, but they have specific needs that need to be met, what you can utilize is tags for reverse prospecting one way and vice versa. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you what I mean. So let's create a dummy lead here and pretend this is a buyer lead. Let's say we talk to a buyer lead, this buyer lead, and they say they're looking for a board bedroom home. So I'm going to tag their specific amenity needs here. Four bedroom. Let's say they're looking for three bathroom. Let's say they're looking for an office. Let's say they're looking for a pool. And we'll go with that. Now, let's say we have a new listing on the market that we know has... Oh, and then let's also say they're looking at a specific zip code. So I'll just put in a zip code here. So now let's say we have a new listing on the market and we know the amenities about it and we want to reverse prospect. So what we can do in the people screen is add a filter by tag. And let's show people who have a specific tag looking for a home with a pool. And you can narrow down even more. I'd recommend not trying to narrow down too much by showing every single amenity because people may be interested in the home even if it doesn't check every single box. And then what you can do is a couple of things. If you're about to go on the listing appointment and you have a large number of people that match one or some of these amenities, let's say I say include any, people looking for something with a pool, or office and you have a list of people here, what you can do is check them all, send a batch email, send an email and you can select to include all email addresses and say, I'm about to meet a seller. And you can send, and I got this hack from Jimmy Mackin. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact script he uses, but it's something like, hi, first name. I'm about to meet a potential seller in Fort Worth, Texas. This property has a pool. La, 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 la. And then you can say, would it be helpful if I sent you, and then whatever it is, if the property owner gives you permission, maybe you can snap a few photos if you have a good camera, or say, if, would it be helpful if I sent you more information if the seller decides to list so you can be the first one to know. So what's helpful about this is twofold. One, you'll get responses from potential buyers that are looking for a specific amenity and you can spark conversation again. But on the other hand, when you get responses, you can go to the listing appointment and say, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller, we sent an email to our database prior to this appointment, and these are the people that responded within an hour just by the little bit of information we have about your property. And so you can use that as a tool to show that you do have buyers and you're not just saying it. Another cool hack you can do on the topic of listing appointments is depending on the website provider, IDX provider you use, you can also use this on an appointment. I wasn't planning on sharing this in this video, but I, it just came to mind. You can uh, go to reporting properties and pull up a map view of the inquiries you have. I don't have any here since I don't have an IDX provider, but you can kind of see grayed out and you can zoom in and out and show how many inquiries you've had in the different areas on the listing appointment.